right, I'm out here. This guy, this is my old high school buddy. Hey. And guess what we just did? <laughs> Woo! She just reeled in. Look at this. Look at that. Look at the mouth. Let's see if I can go open his mouth. Oh, I'm not going to be able to open his mouth. He won't open his mouth. He's a hooky here. Yep, but that's what we oh just reeled in. Whoa! I want to go fishing. Cause it takes my stress away I wanna go fishing Try and cast my blues away I wanna go fishing I don't want to watch the clock I wanna go fishing I don't ever want to stop Good morning, YouTube. This is Captain Dave's Sport Fishing YouTube channel, Jacksonville, Florida. Thanks for stopping by. It is 5 a.m. on Monday the 4th. And I'm kind of loading up the boat a little bit here. Got most everything in it. Just putting some other baits and stuff in the coolers. And today is uh, going to be a video of fishing with my best friend from high school, my fishing buddy, and uh, his wife. Haven't seen him in 40 years, at least. But the reason I wanted to start here in the beginning is tell you stay to the end and you're going to see how to win a promo pack from Super Clean. We're gonna give away you're going to have a contest at the end of the video with the amount of comments that I can get. And I'll probably let it sit, you know, a week or so, okay? And Super Clean is going to send you a promo pack of the um, cleaner degreaser, okay? So the instructions will be at the very end of this video. So stay tuned all right i'm out here this guy this is my old high school buddy hey and guess what we just did <laughs> Woo! she just reeled in look at this look at that look at the mouth let's see if i can go open his mouth oh i'm not gonna be able to open his mouth he won't open his mouth there's a hook in there yep but that's what we oh just reeled gosh. in Whoa! Whoa, careful. That's what we just reeled in. Nice. I'll hold the end of this rope here, and I am going to de-hook them. Okay. All right. Wow, nice one, Dave. You're two for two now. Well, I'm I'm kind of I kind of like feel them, but I, <laughs> I, I I'm not into reeling them in. Oh, I'm just gonna cut. I'm just gonna cut that. Down it's there. way down there. Two oh, eyes on one side. side of their head. That's crazy. Okay. Okay, Joe's a little seasick, so he's out of the uh, picture right now. But we're in a very little slight roll. And there we go. There we go. Flatty, flatty. Nice. Flatty, flatty, two by four. Can't fit through the bathroom door. Not this way, but this way. There you go. Look at the mouth. Can eat anything it wants. On a live mullet. Yep. He's a keeper. Oh, <laughs> this is beyond keeper. And this is a flounder. This ain't no fluke. Now, we just need to get a couple more of these. We got a mangrove snapper when we first got here. Okay. Well, I gotta get this thing in the gap. Okay, open up. That's a fish holder. As long as there's weight on it, he's he's. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. So now. Here. Okay. I always say there's got to be somebody with better eyes than me on the boat. There's little marks right on. Oh dear. Can you see it? I'd say it's four pounds. It's over. It's about four. Or just about, four. about. Just about four. Okay. Uh -huh. Four Actually, pounder. Let's see it. Let's see nice flatty. Yeah. And now. Yeah. 
you got to do a picture of you doing this. I was went to Florida and I caught this here fish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you want to use my camera? You can I'll take one with yours and then take one with mine. How about that? Okay. That's targeted species in the boat because that's why we're here. Send this picture to your daughter and say, guess what? We weren't even out there an hour. <laughs> okay, I took two. Cool. Let me get one with my super cheapy jump phone. Ah. So there we go, folks. We'll be back with you when Joe uh, recovers a little bit, all right? All right, I'll give you an update. My high school buddy Joe got sea very seasick. He can't handle even the slightest up and down. So they came down here in their travel trailer and their truck and he said that he gets so motion sickness. So it turns out that we probably won't be having Joe on the boat. So I'm going to continue with his wife. So, oh man. I haven't seen him in 40 years, and it looks like he's not going to be able to fish. Oh, we got a mangrove snapper, too, and that flounder. So now we're going to go back and see if we can't get more flounder. Okay, Joe's back on the boat, feeling much better, feeling much better now. <laughs> and we went out, me and Deb went out and did hours of fishing without him. <laughs> without him. I was, I'm okay with that. <laughs> so we really had a problem with all my mullet got eaten up by blues and Spanish mackerel were clipping them off and we really couldn't get any more bites we could look in the water over where where we were and the Spanish mackerel and the bluefish were just swimming around the boat so that didn't work out for us catching anything but she hooked into I think a big bull redfish while we were out there Aww. that ran us around the boat and then ended up breaking us off in a wreck on the bottom on the oh. super LT the buggy whip rod oh, that is a buggy and the whip. Shimano Triton and when we should have been hooked up to that fish with the Shimano Triton and the ugly stick tiger because this would have been a heavier yeah, rod. Yeah, but you didn't know what you were going to so, after 40 years, at least, <laughs> Joe gets on my boat after he's seasick, and now we're sitting at the dock. This is more your speed? Much better. <laughs> I, I can handle this. So, watch for the end, and I'm going to get the do the giveaway of Super Clean, who have donated an entire, what do you call that, a promo box oh, there you go. of Super Clean. So. Good deal. Alright, we're stick a fork in our ass, we're done. Alrighty folks. I'm home and I loved seeing Joe and his wife. But you know how things just never go the way you want. I'm sitting here running the engine out in my barrel full of fresh water. And you know, I really wanted him to enjoy a day of fishing with me since that's my life. That was a par big part of my life in high school, too. I pretty much taught Joe everything, you know, he needed to know. Um, big reveal! I went to high school in Pennsylvania. And it couldn't have been any greater. Where I went to high school... When high school ended, I was pretty sad because people like Joe, me, and a few other friends of mine, we had so much fun together. Fishing and hunting, I mean, especially fishing. I was way more of a fisherman than I ever was a hunter. And I so badly wanted it to go really good today, but Joe got seasick. But here's the funny thing, there's so much more to this story. I mentioned that, you know, we dropped Joe off at the boat ramp because he was just deathly seasick. And it was slick calm as far as I was concerned. There was just a little swell. Now his wife Deb did very well. She didn't, 
she didn't have any serious issues. But it's funny that I'm at the boat ramp hours before anybody shows up. And let me show you something. I found a change purse. When I got out of my truck at the boat ramp, I opened the door and I looked over and I see a woman's change purse sitting on the ground. Now I've found some seriously good stuff at the boat ramp. 25 feet of chain. I found pieces of starboard hatches. I've found all kinds of good stuff in the dumpster. I found wood chairs that I've kind of refurbished that I have in my shop here in the dumpster. So I look over and I see this change purse and I go over and I pick it up. Now, I don't know anything about this, but I open the change purse and I see all this money. This is about $60. Okay, I stuck it in here because I don't want to touch it. I look in the change purse. There's a metal bottle cap crushed and there's two like a st star, uh, straw stirrer and like a toothpick, like a plastic toothpick and what looked like a bunch of crushed glass. Well, I watched Breaking Bad and he made blue crystal meth, right? And it looked like glass. I'm thinking this was crystal meth in this change purse with money in it and a bottle cap that was like crushed and a straw short straw and like a plastic stirrer type straw now I don't know what these druggies do with all this shit but I don't give a crap I earned another $60 today Finders, keepers, losers, weepers. And they hang around the boat ramp. Okay, here comes a garbage truck. Whew, man, that brand new garbage truck. Noisy as all hell. So I earned about another 60 bucks today. I wasn't going to touch this. I went and got a plastic bag out of the boat. And I reversed it. And I'll wash this off or something for... I touch it, I'm, or I'm just going to get rid of it. It's covered in crystal meth, I guess. Now, Orowalk, I asked him, I texted him, and I said, hey, is that crystal meth? It looks like broken glass. He never really said. I don't know. You know, Orowalk was 20 years New York Police Department. I'm sure he ran into some of that shit. So, there's a cop that lives at the boat ramp. Well, he works nights and he parks his, his, he has a Ford Explorer cop car. And he parks it in front of where he lives at a double wide at the boat ramp. So, I didn't know what to do with this. So, there's these posts that are around the, the, the uh, parking lot, uh, lights at the boat ramp. And he was parked right next to one of those. So I went over and I took the little change purse and I stuck it on top of one of those and maybe he'll see it. And I went over to the dumpster. You know, I do my patrol when I'm early, got the boat in the water. And I went over and I found like half inch brand new galvanized pipe with caps on the end shoved in the dumpster 10 foot pieces oh, I could always do something with that so there's what I got this morning before Joe and Deb even showed up but it sure was good to see him sure was great to see him I never wanted high school to, to end because of people like Joe 
he he came from up by Philadelphia or something. I mean, his dad was probably a very smart man, wanted to get his kids away from Philadelphia and bring them up into the country. That's where I live. Out, I mean, literally, the, the closest gas station was five, 10 miles away. The closest grocery store was 25 miles away from where I went to high school. It was a fantastic place to grow up. Way better than the way these kids are in, say, you know, the high school at the beach at Fletcher High or whatever with cops walking around. We didn't have none of that. My entire graduating class was like 112 kids. My high school was 6th grade through 12th grade, all in one building. We got off on first day of trout season, first day of buck season, first day of archery season. I mean, it was fantastic. Freshwater trout streams giant bass ponds we had a ball but Joe and his wife right now were staying at Hannah Park at the beach and they said they never saw a city park that was so nice can you believe that these are people who have spent many a day and many a night in campgrounds because they pull a 30-foot Airstream trailer behind a white get this white diesel Dodge truck. Wow, I got a white diesel Dodge truck. Theirs is a 2018, mine's a 2008. So, I just wanted to end this video with a little more meat. It was too bad when I took Deb back out after we dropped Joe off at the boat ramp because he was so seasick that we hooked a big bull red on the really, on the super striper fairy wand. And we were fishing near a wreck, an old, old wreck. And that red went around the boat and then dove for the wreck and broke us off. It would have been a real unbelievable kicker of a day if we could have got a giant bull red fish plus the four pound flounder on our, I mean, we got the four pound flounder in the first 10 minutes we were there and a, I don't know, a decent sized mangrove snapper. So thanks for watching. And there's gonna be a talk about the promo, about how you can get a box of Super Clean right after this. As I said in the very beginning of this video, watch to the end because we're going to be doing a giveaway of comments below. The more comments, of course, the better. So I hope everybody makes a comment on this video because what we're going to do is Super Clean is going to be giving away a promotional pack to the comment selected. I'm going to hopefully have enough comments that I'm going to use a comment selector. You have to be in the lower 48 of the United States with a lower 48 address. All right. So they're going to give away to the commenter that is selected a promo pack of super clean, tough task cleaner degreaser. I love this stuff. So we're going to have a contest. And Super Clean has been nice enough to say that they will send a promo box. I believe the promo box will include possibly a couple cans of this and a couple cans of the foaming uh, spray gun. So comment below and I will be in contact with you. Make sure that you have your notifications on that when somebody replies to your comment that they can get a hold of you and you can see it in your email or whatever. Because I'm going to comment back to you and get your uh, name and address. So Super Clean can send you a free promo box. Care of Captain Dave Sport Fishing, Jacksonville, Florida, YouTube channel. So thanks for watching and comment below.